You think you know X-Men Days of Future Past? Well, here's 10 things you may not have known about your favorite mutants, past and present. In the original Days of Future Past storyline, published in the comics in 1981, Kitty Pride travels to the future, the year 2013. In the film, the future is the year 2023. You sent me. You and Charles. From the future. The working title to keep the production a secret was Hello Kitty. When Brian Singer signed on to direct, he had a long discussion with James Cameron, director of The Terminator, about how to make the idea of time travel feasible and workable within the film. Brian Singer filmed Quicksilver's Pentagon scene at 3200 frames per second using the high-speed Vision Research Phantom camera. Most of the sequence was shot practically, and CGI was mostly used for objects in mid-air. Storm's role in the film had to be reduced because Holly Berry was pregnant at the time of filming. According to writer Simon Kinberg, JFK's mutant power was telepathic persuasion. In a longer cut of the film, there was a romantic subplot between Storm and Wolverine, <laughs> as well as a sequence with Rogue in the future. Although they play father and son, Michael Fassbender is only 10 years older than Evan Peters. You know, my mom once knew a guy who could do that. Kelsey Grammer wanted to return as an elder beast, but was unable due to scheduling conflicts. His cameo was added during reshoots and kept a secret. During filming, Brian Singer injured his vocal cords and could only speak in falsetto. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a bonus one. Brian Singer announced that Lady Gaga had joined the cast as Dazzler, but this was just an April Fool's Day prank. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.